Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more EU4 as Norway. So, after checking the ledger, as expected, Muscovy is the weaker of the two targets. We should probably attack Muscovy first. That would allow us to get trade power in nodes that we share trade power. So, we do have some here, I think. Yep, so we could get some trade power in Kazan. We can't get any in Samarkand because we don't have any trade power over there. Besides, they have very little as well. Um, they have about 63 regiments. 62. But they're Eastern Tech, so they're much easier. Poland, on the other hand, is still pretty strong. They have 94 regiments. They're on level 16, Military Tech to our 17. Their ideas, they've taken offensive as well. And there are also two in. Actually, we're further than two. We've got four. I think we wait a bit. We um, finish converting these. It's only going to take about one year. And then we declare war on Muscovy. Meanwhile, we're improving relations with Connect, which um, will allow us to get the alliance underway and then continue to improve relations with them until we get them up to 190. And we'll just peacefully incorporate them. France, you suck. I haven't built any buildings in a long time. And sadly, our diplomatic reputation is still negative. Part of the problem with our strategy now is that the overextension is going to reduce that annexation speed. Meanwhile, Hamburg has been improved up to plus 67, so another few years of this. Now, we are going to go over our limit again. Or, we could get control of the Curia and just break off the royal marriage with these guys. Since, apparently, Poland somehow peacefully vassalized them. To the point where they don't even want us to support their independence. Getting control of the Curia... With three on deck, you would assume that it wouldn't be very hard, but it is. I've just got to give up with France. I can't believe it. Mean, this guy's 70 freaking years old. What a waste of money. Or a waste of influence, rather. Yeah, you... Okay, fine. Fine, France. You can have him. He's an idiot anyway. Missionary strength, plus one. I like it. That'll help help us out with speeding this process along so we can immediately go to war again. Hmm. So we can pick up another 55. We'll definitely have to send them a gift in order to vassalize these guys. First off, we'll guarantee them. So we need another 104 opinion. We can get 55 from here. So we will need... Hmm. That's actually kind of tricky. Neighboring heretic religion. We should have probably attacked them first and forced their religion back to Catholic. I don't know, we'll see. It might be tough to actually get these guys. These sure are fast though. Look at that. 9% a month. Sweden, abolish your silly ways. Protestant. I 
Okay, so the conversions are done. Which makes me think that we can probably safely pull these troops back. The revolt risk here is mostly due to the nationalism, which I guess that's going to stick around. The active missionary penalty will go away. We might get a revolt, but let's send these guys east. And prepare for a trade war with Muscovy. I'm pretty sure I've taken that event many, many times. Okay. Is that ever going to become an accepted culture? I don't think so. It's very small. So we should probably culture convert these. If not that, then we would be getting technology, which... Getting more trade efficiency is nice. A huge portion of our income comes from trade, but... That or we could get exploration ideas. Yeah, culture conversion just seems better to me right now. Ooh, that one's expensive. But it's just 6 times 25, so I do think it's worth it. You just get so much more manpower from them. So what buildings is it that we need? Akershus. We've already got the arsenal. Excellent manpower here. Could build a few more arsenals. I was thinking about this. I was actually like dreaming about it. One of those weird things where you play a game so much that when you wake up in the morning you realize you were thinking about it while sleeping. And I was thinking that um, on the coast... I don't know. <laughs> Never mind. I don't remember what I was thinking. Like there's a, probably a layout that would make sense. Like tax buildings on the coast or something. Or maybe the naval arsenal, because it's only available on the coast. And then arsenals everywhere else, just so you get huge army. Or the mint, which is always nice. Post office, look at that trade power. I've never once made a readout It seems like if you have a, a large enough army that having defense doesn't really matter. Hundred percent religious unity. What is our mission right now? Finland owned by Norway. Oops. Probably should have taken that in the peace deal. My bad. Okay, one of our two armies is here. Let us teleport Axel over here to speed up the process of getting these armies combined. We have a pretty good supply limit here, I hope. 27? Nope. Looks like we can't actually combine our armies into one big huge army. Muscovy's got a 2-2 commander there. I don't see any other... Nope, we got a 1-2 there. Their territory is so spread out. This will also allow us to get this army out of this spot here. So I think the, the goal is going to be to come in and just pounce on that main army. Oh, excellent. We can even put all 50 of them right in Tiver. 
and then jump on them in Moskva. We'll take a river crossing penalty to do that, but... We might be able to go into Vladimir. Depends on where they retreat to. We crush their main army. That gives us a ticking war score. Then we just spread out right over here. They come over with tiny little reinforcement armies that we don't care about. Meanwhile, we get our ticking war score for having won enough battles. I think we'll be fine with just the one commander, actually. Nope. Darn. So, yeah, they damaged the colony because I wasn't protecting it. Shoot. That's what this army was supposed to do. I suppose I could be bothered into taking care of this. The actual navy doesn't need to be over here. I highly doubt. Does Muscovy even have a navy? Probably not. I mean, why would they? I don't think they have any... No, they don't have a single ship. Naturally. Naturally. As I... Oh, hey. Thanks, Hamburg. Nice job. And they're not actually looting. They're actually winning. Next military idea is going to be improve maneuver. We're still ahead on military tech, right? Yep. And this gets us this thing, too. Yay for discipline. Yay for trade steering. That's good, because we're currently using both of our merchants to, to steer trade. That's like forcing the money in the direction we want. 32 ducats a month now. Okay, Muscovy. You ready? We need a diplomat. Um, Hamburg. They're going to be pretty pissed with me eventually. Okay, never mind, Muscovy. In a month, we'll declare war on you. <laughs> this guy's so old. Can't even believe how many points I wasted on him just being petty with France. Good, I didn't want to have a cast a spell against my vassal anyway. Okay, so we want to do, I think, trade dispute because it's, um, it's lowered cost for transfer trade power. Cleansing the heresy, on the other hand. Yeah, I think we want that. Oh, I didn't even check their allies. I don't have any. Good. Okay, well, hopefully we can catch you. I'd rather fight right here. Yes, we can. We'll take the crossing penalty. Our 6-2 will be equivalent to a 5-1. And we've got all these cannons. So we'll just show up and just go... <laughs> there we are. We actually have cannons in the front row. That's bad. Why did I do that? That's dumb. We have too many cannons. Need more infantry. But still, cannons go boom. Boom, 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 boom. Cannons in the front row. Not a good idea. Why did I do that? Still, we won, but at what cost? There's a 28 stack. Man, he really put that together quick. That or it was already put together. This is why it's all cannons, because all the other guys are here. Okay. Where are you retreating to? And is it worth chasing you into hostile territory in the middle of winter with low supply limits? Of course it is. Let's go. Uh, a couple quick culture conversions. Forced march would be so nice right now. There we go. Stay still. Don't go anywhere. Oh my god. Boom. Feels good, man. Don't you dare try to carpet siege. Don't you dare. Ok, 
arcade efficiency. Cool. We'll spend a... We'll try to run through our own territory. Maybe we wait, wait out this winter. Or we could just ignore it and bleed our manpower dry. That sounds fun too. Picking off little armies where I can, trying to keep the army small so we don't suffer big attrition right now. We're already at 32%. All I want from you is the transfer trade power. So we just win another couple battles. 24 versus 17 against your 1-2, I think we'll do just fine. Shouldn't be a river crossing, but there is a forest, apparently. Hopefully, yeah, we do still have artillery in the front line, but we killed them. Good. Okay, that should do it. They're already at medium war enthusiasm. So give us some money, give us your trade power. Sounds good. Quick little dirty war. Excellent. Okay. Um, let's bring everyone back to Neva. 52 supply limit. Damn it, I left this army. Urgh, I did it again. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> that sucks. Alright, well, we're losing money while we have to reinforce. We have some Mecklenburg Patriots, apparently. So I have to go take care of that. Where is my navy? Dump them off there. How much longer on our truce with Sweden? 1621. Two more years, we can attack Sweden again. It's going to cost us quite a bit of money having our trade power diminished with overextension. But that should help out. So now we gain more trade power here, because we gained some from Muscovy. Transfers receives trade power from Muscovy, 16.5. More importantly, they can't embargo us anymore, so we get our modifiers back. Um, and then we should also have trade power in the Kazan trade node. Receives trade power from Norway, uh, from Muscovy, plus 43.9, and we have 28% trade power modifier, even though we're overextended. It's pretty solid. Not bad at all. So lots of money. Actually, all of it's coming out anyway. Because for some foolish reason, Muscovy has their trade cap, their trade, like their actual capital, still in the Novgorod trade node. So they want the money to come forward as well. Which is just sad. I feel bad for them. Alright, cool. I'm going to take a break here though. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching everyone. See you soon.